on the season finale of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. After 10 days at Marriage Boot Camp, it's time for these couples to decide if their partners have stepped up or if they need to step out. It's certain you don't want to talk about. Whatever. Your entire relationship is infidelity. I'm going to throw you out the tent. Oh, Lil Mo and Carl came to boot camp to squash the lies. If he don't lie no more, I'm cool. But then Carl was brought down by his kryptonite. Mm -hmm. Will this superwoman save the day? The decision is going to devastate our whole family. Or hang up her cape for good? You should be worried. Jessica Dime came to boot camp to be Sean's bride. What's taking so long? Um, don't look at her, look at me. Will they set a wedding date or call it a day? Lil Fizz and Tiffany came to boot camp as a last resort. I would like to see a future with him. And after 10 days, will Fizz finally put a ring on it? It's hard for me to trust, but I think that I can learn to trust. Or will one of them decide to cut all ties? Soldier Boy and Nia came looking for mutual respect. You disrespecting me. Learn how to talk to me. Will this on again, off again relationship finally turn off? Shut up! Or has Soldier Boy finally become the man Nia wants to marry? Will you marry me? Waka and Tammy came to build trust. How did you hurt her? Me and a boy. You mean cheating? Tonight, consider yourself single again. I'm still a player, man. But when old habits die hard, don't hit me. Tammy has to decide if it's game on or game over. I don't trust you. The VIP room is closed. You act like a bitch, not a boss. Five hip-hop couples struggling to survive. They don't know how inconsistent your ass is. Count, count, boy. Whoa. Dr. Ish and Dr. V are their last shot. Look like to me you were having one of them side piece conversations. You're disrespecting me. Learn how to talk to me. Once you got with me, your life has leveled up. She needs to be controlled. I can beat your ass. Sometimes I feel like this relationship is over. You keep blaming me for the past. Will they level up? I feel like I gave up. Or wreck it all. He could be sleeping next to the devil and not even know it. <laughs> Let me go. This is Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Who are you doing there? What the hell, baby? What the f are talking about? It was like, who's this my husband talking to? Waka has girls in front of him, as always. But this time, it bothered me. Like, am I wrong or right? Or what can I do? I'm completely confused, but all I know is I am tired. I want to go home. I'm still a player, man. Let me call him. I don't. I don't know, Tammy is real serious right now. Usually she really don't care. You know, I'm going to be respectful. I'm having a great time. That's what matters. Hold up, babe. Walk was out of pocket. If I was Tammy, I would have did just what she did. I'd be like, oh, this bitch is just passing out numbers. Somebody going zone. You coming in behind me? I gotta pee so bad. Tomorrow, the last day, I got a lot to think about. And I'm f up from the club. So I can't even think straight. Did y'all have fun? What y'all well, have a Turn before y'all showed up. Dynamite. Come on, go in the kitchen. Because we can't spend the night together tonight. Come on. Today was a long, draining day. And even though he didn't deceive for the lie detector test. Did you lie to Mo about who you're on FaceTime with? No. Don't get it twisted as if the coast is clear. Tired. OK. See you in the morning. Oh, my God. Y'all woke. Day 10, bitch. Day 10, bitch. <laughs> Day 10, Come on, bitch. no more slumber yeah. parties with you bitches. Day Yo, 10. Y'all up too early. Y'all pray for me. What you need prayer for? <laughs> I don't believe that <laughs> test. As long as he believe me and know, that's, that's all, all that matters. Matter. Ain't no telling what I might do. I might need his mother <laughs> single, boy. I don't know why I guess they question. But I'm going to do something. I don't know. But it need to be a surprise. You leaving this thing with Mo? 
Carl passed his test, bitch, so you got to leave with him. I got to take some things in consideration. I'm ready for today, but it's still in the back of my mind, like, what if we don't leave this mother together? I think Walker need to stay or get a little bit more lessons. Oh. <laughs> Last night is kind of with me, and I absolutely don't trust him in our relationship. That's a lot to think about. After last night, man, I like being single. Boot campers, join us in the boot camp room now. Showtime. I feel cool, man. Last day, so let's keep it pushing. It ain't over to the fat lady sing. Please, everyone, take a seat. Everybody feeling good after lie detector? Oh, damn it. Jessica, how you feeling? I feel like y'all full of Ooh. It's no reason in the world those results should have come back like that. Listen, I'm not going to debate the validity of that test. They're certified polygraph examiners. Simple as that. Sean, why did you ask that question? I'm confident in my fiance. You wanted to know if she cheated on you because you're confident? No, because I just wanted to know. We just had a lie detector, and that's the question I asked. And I have the utmost confidence in my fiance. Look, I understand you're upset. You failed the lie detector test. We're moving on. Are you serious? God knows what I've done, and he's looking down at everybody, even a judge told her. So today's the day, decision day. 10 days ago, you guys came through this door looking for answers. Now it's time for you to determine your future. Soldier, Nia, could you stand up, please? I'm nervous. I definitely didn't expect my first time seeing him today to be in court. We've been here for 10 days. Soldier, you said you wanted your relationship to be in the best place it can be. Do you think you're any closer? What you want, then? Either we gonna work out or we not. Shut up! When we gonna get married? What? <laughs> <laughs> this experience definitely helped me out, and I feel like I'm on a better path than what I was on. Anybody have any comments on that? I'm just Tammy. super proud of him. Super proud? Yeah, I see, like, the old Walker and Soldier. I definitely believe that Soldier and Nia can last. I just think they have to grow up just a little bit. And do you think you can or have forgiven him for the past? Not completely, but I am working on it. My biggest thing walking into the house was getting my sincere apology. I've gotten my apology, but I'm still working on the whole forgiveness thing. Doctors, you care to weigh in? Nia, forgiveness frees you, not him. Soldier, you're going to have to decide who you want to be, soldier boy or soldier man. And unless both of you commit to the process of changing yourself, you don't have a snowball's chance in hell of working out. And that's just facts. Thank you. Jessica, Sean, you're up. Sean, when you first came in this house, you said you wanted to stop being so controlling. Hey. What? You got to control that mud, man. This is going in my face. I'm going to ask the jury of your peers, do you believe he's made progress? He probably was controlling for the point of fear. Like, yo, I don't mm -hmm. want you to do this because I don't want this to happen to you because I've seen this happen. Jessica, you came in this house saying you wanted to be more classy. I can beat your ass, so What you talking about, yeah, man? What you talking about? Like, don't like, talk to my like, like that. And you want a wedding date. Anybody else have anything they want to say? Even though you might still slip up, you still come back and evaluate yourself and you say, you know what? I up and yeah, I was tripping. Let me say this though, marriage boot camp has helped me be more conscious of certain problems. What makes her act certain ways? I feel like she still be petty a lot, you know? She's a work in progress. So she needs a little bit of encouragement sometimes. Jessica, you've got to be ready to level up, compromise, and it's hard to do unless you're full grown. Those are the things you have to think about today and I wish for you the best in your decision. I don't even want to talk about boot camp. I don't want to hear boo. I'm going to go the other way. Waka and Tammy, please step up. Jeez. Waka, when you came in here, you said you wanted to be a better person and you wanted to be more modest. I'm getting there. Soldier, what do you think? I think he's getting there. <laughs> Sean, do you think he's getting there? Almost he there. He's there. Tammy, when you come in here, you said you wanted to work on your trust issues. I've been working on that for the past two years now, so it is in moderation. Damn. 
I was just trying to be honest. What I see in her is what I need to see in myself, and that's forgiveness. For you to forgive, that's deep. I'm going to say this to Tammy. I know he didn't hurt you, but, like, sometimes do wake up, so just trust. The concern I have is this. He's still so confident in who he is, I don't think he's going to change as much as he says he is. If he doesn't get too self-satisfied, you guys have the opportunity at everything, but you also have the opportunity to blow this sucker up because his life is what it is, and you've got to figure out whether you can live like that. Those are the things that you have to consider, and I wish you the best. Get up and ready. I'll follow you. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, hold up, son. What the f? It's like, oh my God, just f disrespectful. Right. I don't have no reaction to the lie detector test. Y'all know how I feel about the lie detector test. I feel like it was fake. I feel like we need to go home. I don't think they're coming back. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Will we leave with our girls? Are you nervous? It all leads to one final question. Should you leave here together or go your separate ways? I don't trust you. You mean everything to me. I'm not worrying about you going anywhere. Yeah, you should be worried. You look ready. I'm following you. I don't know why Sean and Jessica just walked out the courtroom like that, but we jury of your peers, bro. You got to stick around. You feel me? I might need some advice from you, bro. Like, you just going to leave the boy like that, man. That was cat. We need to go home. Let's see what's going on with them. Okay. Actions speak louder than words. And by storming out of the drill, Jessica's deflecting from her failed test instead of actually addressing it head on. The more uproar she expresses, the less she is actually dealing with the results and the longer it is going to take to move past them. What happened? This is my real life. This is all I got. I understand that. I really don't want to even talk about it. I'm being as nice as I can. I'm trying to just forget all of that. I'm ready to go. So you ready? Looked at in society as a whole. Or whatever. So you think this? I understand. There's a legitimate reason why it came out that way. To have anything to do with being less of a woman, a whole industry. It don't have anything to do with that. There's no doubt in my mind where this relationship stands. There's no doubt in my mind the kind of woman Jessica is. I don't really want to bullshit. I want to be honest with you about that. Okay. Um. Right. Right. And for the two of you, the take home is what you do with the information together. Little Mo, Carl. Now we had the big dust up with the face time. Yeah. Tell me what. He said it was his sister. He said it was this. He said it was that. And then you two finally came to some resolution on that. Are you comfortable that this is not going to be an ongoing pattern? I don't know. I always want him to realize who he is. All right, he took the lie detector test and it said he wasn't deceitful this time. So what do you believe, Mo? Then he apologized and you believe and you forgave. But then what if he does it again? Like, what if he's not really being truthful to who he is? I didn't want that for my relationship. That's how my other two marriages was. And that's why I picked up and left. But I was like, what makes me stay? I was like, you know what? Because I actually am in love with you. Did you hear what she just said to you? Uh, like I said, I came in for communication. I mean, wanted to, like, get our communication better. I'm definitely feeling some type of way right now. Carl better wake up or he lose that. Drew, any thoughts? Carl was like the underdog when he came in here. Uh-huh. So I think out of any relationship in this house, they've gained the most. You two have a huge decision to make. Whatever he might float away and do, when he's not with you, if it continues to happen, resentment is going to build up. And you're going to find yourself in a position where you won't know if it's worth staying or not. I wish you luck in your decision, and we'll see how it goes tonight. Mm -hmm. What to make it OK to okay. me mm -hmm. is if we take that test over and I pass that test, and we go on about it like this. No, that's not how it worked. You failed the test. The lie detectors are certified in the state of California. They stand behind the results. The important thing is how you guys deal with the information moving forward, and that will be up to you. 
If that can't happen and y'all can't figure out a way to make it seem like it happened. What I would say is for the two of y'all to handle it the right way. Well, and if right you feel way. like you got to go and you feel like there's nothing else for you to do here, then you got to do what you got to do. And, you know, y'all won't be the first ones who've ever left. I have in my head what I, what I want to do, but I have, you know, doubts. So I don't know. I'm just waiting to the last seconds. I'm a clutch player. I like to make my decision under duress. I don't feel like you need to go. Think about it. What you two came in here for was to close this thing down or to open it up. Drew, when you came in here, you said you wanted to learn how not to cut people off and walk away from relationships. Is that still what you want to do? You still want to do that? Yeah. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I think being here, it reminded you of old feelings. Yeah. What have you guys seen in Fizz since he's been here? Like, before he came in here, it just seemed like this, like, guarded, like, mm -hmm. person. He, he caps and quiet. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was just, like, so quiet into himself. <laughs> and then he kind of, like, opened he tried, up. He like, he don't know what's going on, but he peeping. I hope Drew and Tiffany make it. Because I don't see them Tiffany fight, but it's just, like, it just gets weird. Tiffany, I've seen a brightness in you. And I want you to make a decision that continues to make that bright shine. And Drew, I want you to make a decision not to please other people, but make sure that you're doing what you need to do. And only the two of you know exactly what that is, and we will find out later tonight. Just Toller's final thoughts kind of gave me confirmation that I have to make this decision. If I'm going to be with Tiffany, I got to be with her. And if I'm not going to be with her, I have to let her know that, and I have to let her go. I honestly wish the best for each and every one of you tonight. And I enjoyed spending this time with you, and I wish you the best of luck for tonight. Thank you so Thank much you. for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Doctors? Decision time is fast approaching. If you want to leave here with your partner, you will present them with their ring tonight at the ceremony. If you think your lives would be better apart, you'll leave the box empty. This is the last time you're going to see each other until tonight's commitment ceremony. Your partner needs time to think, and so do you. Ladies, head up to the master bedroom to get dressed for tonight. Gentlemen, get dressed. We'll see everyone later tonight. I'm pretty sure everybody got a little bit of doubt, but you always got to second guess yourself because it's always that what if. Now, what if a mother Last mother day in this bitch. Will we leave with our girls or not? That is the question. Let's see what his mind is set is like. I think it's all good. He's committed. <laughs> I think for so. Life. He's committed for life. Now the thing is if I'm committed for life. Big day today. Right now, I'd rather leave the house than take myself 10 steps backwards from the progress that I've made in my life. If you want to do it, No. Coming up on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. The decision that I'm about to make is going to devastate our whole family. I've loved you so much that I've put you before me and my child. It don't make me feel good. Please open your box. At the end of the day, I support her 100%, right or wrong, you know what I mean? Whatever situation it is. What happened with Sean and Don? Why they just walk out like that? Where they go? I don't know. I'm just saying, out the courtroom. They still here? I don't know. Well, I think y'all is dope. I hope he really means it like y'all around each other more. Because you know what's crazy? We'll be around each other, but it's like... Even when you home, they not mentally there sometimes. Yeah. I really love Carl, but I still have doubts that he's willing to change. It's always something. Waka, when did you know it was the right time to get married? Ain't no right time. Proposing is on my mind, but I come to the realization that I'm not getting no younger. It's probably that time. See, is you gonna get married one day? I see myself having a family. More of a probably like a blended family. Like, she already got kids, I got my son. Okay. Maybe she is somebody I can see myself trusting. But what I'm looking for out of Tiffany is for her to just be more supportive in the situation with my son's mother, not adding to the drama. Ooh, stressing me out. What the f 
is that? <laughs> I, I, thought thought we was man. I thought you had a TV in your hand. <laughs> I decided to stay because my fiance genuinely wanted me to stay. I'm not a quitter, and like, who does it better than me? I thought you was out of here earlier. I was, but Sean was like, no, leave, stay, finish. God probably just put something in his spirit, be like, look, you know that ain't true. You know she ain't been with nobody. For him to ask me a question like, was I cheating on him? It really hurt my feelings. You up? No, hell no, I just talked to him. When I seen Shauna, they stayed, they wasn't leaving. That was dope. They really support each other to the fullest. I'm very nervous, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how you're going to wear your hair on your wedding day? I've been growing my hair out, so it'll be good coverage by the time I get my dates. He's planning on making me wait more than a year to get married. I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this point. It's like the last couple of days of school, right? About to get your report card. I don't know if you're passing <laughs> or not. I've learned a lot from you bitches. I mm -hmm. like you bitches. I'm just gonna drink, cause it's just about to be a long yeah. night. Let's do this We done did the whole 10 days. Who we friends, bro? She don't got a ring for me. I'm pushing off the stage. Tonight, the decision gonna be made. No. <laughs> hell yeah, I got doubts. I'm scared as hell. I've been up for the last 10 years. I'm thinking she done with this Saying right or wrong. How right, here we go. Right, here we go. Take your peek in the mirror before you go, girl. Last looks. All right, let's go. Come on, make yourself a dream. Then I'm gonna have to pee, and I got on this girdle. <sighs> okay. I'm not ready. You want a shot? I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> like, make it worse. I think I'm the most doubtful one here. I feel 50% we should leave together, and the other 50, you know, I'm exhausted and I don't wanna keep trying. If Soja was to propose, I'm pretty sure it would make their whole relationship easier because she know for a fact that he's really down for her and not just saying it. You're really not ready. Bitch, I'm ready. It really got me nervous, though, on the slip. Even though I know I'm good, I'm still nervous. Well, I hope I'm good. I'm so nervous right now. You going out there? Yeah. If you know a woman love you, you, you do everything to make sure she keep loving you. It's just nerve wracking, man. Are you ready? Yeah. That architect has kind of your question through me, but I'm here now, and I'm not playing no more games. Stay strong, my sister. Everything that I've been thrown in my life, Lord knows it hasn't been pretty. I see my husband standing there. I started thinking about a whole lot of So here we are. On night one, we told you. Relationships have a lot in common with the music industry. You've got to be on your grind every day. Over the past 10 days, we've worked on you as individuals and the dynamic between the two of you that forms a completely third being, your partnership. And it all leads to one final question. Should you leave here together or go your separate ways? Before you reveal your final decisions, Waka and Tammy, is there anything you'd like to say to each other? Probably come here, I felt like, what was the reason? The reason was fail on my wife's life. Failed just being right for the first time in my life. And when I was right, I ain't want it because I felt like I didn't deserve it. But I was man enough to accept that fact, work on it, be a better man, be stronger. And now we're here. I really do feel like I found my soulmate. I feel like I've loved you so much that sometimes I've put you before me and my child. At times, I resented myself for that. The thing now is just, I don't trust you. I thought that a part of me did, but it's just the fact that I got to that test and it actually told me that I didn't trust you, for real. It don't make me feel good. Walker, please open your box. Tammy, please open your box. Oh, 
coming up on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. Sis, please open your box. If you can't trust me, then don't even bother setting a date. <laughs> you should be worried. I can really embarrass you in front of the whole world. The reason why I chose to wear all black for the ceremony, not only because it looks good on TV and in pictures, hello, but I mean, it just symbolizes that that dark part of my life is, I'm, I'm, I'm through with it. So anything I'm letting go, like, it's, it's, I usually wear black when I'm letting go of some <laughs> It changed my hair color and everything. A woman changes her hair about to change her life. Walker, please open your box. Tammy, please open your box. Oh, I can right here. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love you. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. You Very guys can job. head up inside. You are such a good man. You're like a needle in a haystack, and I appreciate that. And I'm going to appreciate that more. Okay. Y'all my face. <laughs> I don't know how I should feel about this right now. Like, I'm low-key kind of nervous. I finally come up with my decision. I'm hoping that I'm able to get this out without tearing up. It's a movie. Because I don't open up to many people, man, and displaying my love and my trust for somebody on a stage is just kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> yes, sir. Huh. Oh, are you nervous? And whatever happens, just know we got your back. But if you're real, just hoody hoo. <laughs> I am nervous as. <laughs> I'm hoping that he's finally ready to say, let's do this. But the cons of staying with Drew. Baby mama, headache, may fight her, go to jail. Whew. This, Tiffany, before you reveal your final decisions, is there anything you'd like to say to each other? <clears throat> in these past 10 days, I've seen a lot of growth in you. You were honest with me at a point where you could have lied. And it's hard for me to trust, but I think that I can learn to trust. I am proud of you for opening up. I know that's hard for you. You hurt me, and I didn't really understand why. Now, I understand it was fear, and I get it. This, please open your box. I'm just not the dude for her, period. <clears throat> I'm a little confused. I put this ring in this box, not for you, but for me. The next man that comes into my life, he's gonna love me hard. I would like to keep this ring for that man. Yes. And I wanna thank you because without you telling me that I deserve love unconditionally, I would have never thought that for myself. Drew, I love you. You're a great man. You're just not the man for me. Your decision tonight may have been agonizing, but not more agonizing than trying to stay together. What matters now is what you choose to do from here. Head into the house. It's time to leave marriage boot camp. Thank you. I don't blame myself for being the way that I am, but if I would have been able to communicate with her the way I should have, then I wouldn't have been misleading her the way I did. And I feel bad for that part of it. That was a perfect example of people coming into yes. marriage boot camp, and while they're leaving separate, they're leaving better. You got a pet? I wasn't surprised. If she didn't feel right, then it was not meant to happen. Did you have a ring in there? I do, but my ring wasn't for him. Oh, wow. I'm walking out of this home the same way I walked in. 
alone. But on another note, I have gained self-confidence and I am happy. <laughs> Let me give me a shot before I go out here, man. The decision I make tonight will let Jessica know how much I love her. I'm glad you stayed for both of you. Right. All right, ladies. My guts are all twisted and turned. If Sean doesn't offer me a ring tonight, I would be definitely devastated. Jessica and Sean, is there anything you'd like to say to each other? Thank you for being there for me, believing in me, giving me a beautiful daughter. I love you more than life itself, but for you to ask me a question like, have I ever cheated on you? It kind of hurt me. If you can't trust me, then don't even bother setting a date. You know what you mean to me. You're beautiful today. That's Thank why you. I talk to you in this thing. I believe whatever you tell me, not for no machine or none of that. But for us to move on, you gotta grow up a little bit and just be a woman like you always been. You know what I mean? Just don't, you know, take it back sometimes. Jessica, please open your box. Sean. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> oh, what day? 2 14, 2019. I'll let you do the honor, sir. It's the safest date so you can get to your housemates. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. I got my date. I'm excited. I'm ready to go to Paris. I'm gonna be in the castle. We'll see you in Paris. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you showed out. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> the best in the world. I want to give y'all this. Thank you. <laughs> February 14th. That's Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. I actually feel relieved. Yeah. It was a long time of just up in the air, all over the place, not really knowing. I feel good with both of our decisions. I'm actually leaving a better woman than I came. I wish him nothing but the best. I came to this decision because I just felt like it was time for me to stop misleading people and let her go. I think at some point in time, me and Tiffany can be friends. It's just gonna take some time for me to drop my guard and learn how to trust people a little bit more first. I know what I'm gonna do, bro. Ain't no doubt in my mind. The decision that I'm about to make is gonna devastate our whole family. What do you mean? You'll see. Mo kind of had me a little shook. I don't think her and Cara are going to leave together. I made up my mind already. So I'm not tripping on her not leaving with me. I'm not tripping at all. Oh, my God. Love you. Love you, too. You have to take this long walk, and every second feels like clocks are counting down. Boom, boom, and it just feels like Everything that you came here for, it could either be in vain or it could be in your best interest. Little Mo, Carl, I'm a wonderful wife. You really don't have a flaw to me. The communication part, you know how that goes. We don't talk much, you know what I mean, like we should. Um, what do you say you hate the most? You hate what? A liar? liar. All I needed was 10 days from you, and I would have given you the world. It just feels like every time I forgive you, you get mad at me when you get caught. I'm like, what did I do? Carl, do you have an answer? Nothing. I'm not worrying about you going anywhere. Yeah, you should be worried. Coming up on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition, 
Where you going? Soldier. You mean everything to me. You still have a lot of growing to do. Mia, please open your box. Every time I forgive you, you get mad at me when you get caught. What did I do? Carl, do you have an answer? Nothing. I'm not worrying about you going anywhere. Well, why? Hey, you should be worried. Like, I can really in front of these cameras and marry you in front of the whole world. I don't know what OK. You can make your relationship change by just changing you. And I see that change in you tonight. Because I'm looking and listening either. to a woman who is tired of the foolishness. Mm -hmm. She's tired of the mess. She's tired of the intrusions. Time for you to level up, Carl. Your problem you have with me, me being too accessible. Yeah. So I'm going to have to shut that down. I love you. And? I'm going to change. Please turn your boxes to face each other. And open them, please. You do dumb things, because I know you want to see if you still got it. But it's heart. That's what attracted me to you. It's your heart. You are perfect. You no, are. I'm not. To me, like, you are you perfect. To me. Mm. OK. Congratulations, you two. Thank you. It was easy for me to walk away the first marriage. And it was super easy for me to walk away the second one. I got to see what's up with this third one. I can't keep on playing. I'm not sure and I'm not certain. It's still a decision to be made if I'm going to propose. No, I'm not ready. I'm just completely in my mind, like very indecisive, because I don't want to make the wrong decision. Soldier Nia, is there anything you'd like to say to each other? Ugh. I'm proud of you. Within the last few days, I think you really made an effort. That was big for me, too, like you just being consistent with your emotions and your communication. I love you, but I do feel like you still have a lot of growing to do. I know I put you through a lot. I love you, too. And I don't know if I can ever change enough for you. It could take months, it could take years, it could take a lifetime to right my wrongs that I did in the past, you know? You always been there for me through everything. You mean everything to me. Mia, please open your box. <laughs> Where you going? Soldier, please open your box. <laughs> what does that ring in your box mean to you? I'm ready to go all the way, like I'm all the way in. I feel like you really want to change. And I hope it's a new, healthy chapter and happy. So I want to be happy with you. I'm giving you a ring because I feel like this is our last chance to actually fix it. And I do feel like the last few days, you really did try a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> we should. Head on upstairs and yeah. start Thank celebrating, you. guys. Yes. Good job. You did it with most of me. Oh, he did it? No. I considered proposing in front of everyone, but then I said, you know what? I want this moment to be sacred, you know? So I'm going to vote about it another way. We made it. What happened? Like, what's the tea? You smile like <laughs> He didn't think he was giving me. For real? I thought it was over. Aw. Hey! This is a celebration. Yeah. yeah. Let's there celebrate. There we go. I appreciate each and every one of you showing up. Relationships and rhyming have a lot in common. And one of the things they do is timing, right? Mm -hmm. There's a time to laugh, there's a time to cry. 
There's a time to turn up, there's a time to turn it down, there's a time to turn in, there's a time to turn out, but at no time do you turn away from each other. Mm. And to hip hop love, to hip hop life. Yeah. Cheers. 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 There's a date. Hope we'll to see up. all of you guys there. We'll be there. <laughs> I got a day. Next step now, let's get this castle wedding going, baby, in Paris. You know, then twins. Oh. I've never ever stayed with this many people for 10 days in a row. And I pick up a lot of stuff y'all do in your relationships. I see the bad, but I pick up the good. You've made a big change, and I'm proud of you. Like, I can see it. It just feels like you're approachable now. But still, like, you're still untouchable. Honestly, I want to say thank you to the men here. I feel like you helped him a lot with wanting to change. Big facts. Toast to that. I gave you the ring because you always been there for me. I care about you. I love you a lot. You mean everything to me. Soldiers, is that it? <laughs> what are you doing? Me or Riley? Will you marry me? Maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just glad that I got to share this time with everybody. You come here thinking that you know what's going on, but then it get real challenging to where you have your really most put on the plate. That's crazy. It made me appreciate my husband more. That's real talk. We made it. We survived the boot camp. Come on, everybody. Come on, yeah. Everybody get in. Everybody get we in. Come on up. On the count of three, we'll say no capping. No capping. <laughs> One, two, three. No capping. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's a wrap for that. <laughs> Wait, where's the blunt at? So I'm about to go smoke and celebrate that I still have a husband to go home to. Hello? <laughs> <laughs>